Hey Charlie, N3CRT here. Uh, every time a new satellite is launched, this comes up on the different mailing lists and bulletin boards about how to add a satellite or how to find a new satellite into, into uh, like set PC32. So this can be done manually uh, when the when the caps aren't finalized or the satellite's not completely identified. This can be done with a, a little bit of work and a little bit of know-how with uh, downloading two pieces of information. So, for example, I went on to the MSAT bulletin board and Alan Kung announced that the satellite had been launched and he provided example uh, two-line element, uh, Keplerian elements for the satellite. And so that's one piece of information I need. And then the other information was published on December 22nd by AMSAT with some more information and a, a link to the two-line element and a link to their user manual. So inside the user manual, I want to find out the frequencies that I'm going to use. So those two pieces of information I can use. Um, to bring into SAP PC32. So for example here, in my satellites, I use NASA Bear. It tells me the path to where the, the two line elements are. And for example here, I do not have an entry for CAS9 or at the bottom XW3. There's nothing in that file. Now I did download that today. It's not available yet in the NASA Bear. It's not defined or released for, for download in those. So I'm gonna do it manually and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So first we want to take the two line elements and we wanna put them inside NASA Bear. So I'm gonna open, and I already opened this, to my file here, NASA Bear inside my Kepler, this is the same path, the Kepler folder that everything's stored in. So here's all my download, my latest download. Let me resize this here. And just for kind of an example here, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take the two line element from here for the example here, and I'm going to copy. Actually, I'm going to take the one from Alan's email because I think this came later. Yeah, this came in on December 25th, so it's it's possibly a better example. I'm going to copy that, and then I'm going to go down here to the bottom. Make sure that I'm at the bottom. And just for example, I'm just going to set it to be XW3, the, the naming. And I wonder if the, the spacing here is going to cause any kind of problems, but uh, we'll see if it gets recognized. So I'm going to go File, Save, and I'm going to X out of that. I'm going to leave this open in case I need to come back to it. Every time you want to change something or update something in SAP PC32, You've got to close out of it and come back to it. So I'm going to open it up here again. And we're going to look in satellites because it's going to still be using, it's going to open the latest version of NASA Bear. So let's see here at the bottom. Oh, there it is, XW3. So there, that gets me a satellite. I'm going to show this. That gets me, uh-oh. I think that means that it doesn't have a, uh oh, I've done it now. It doesn't like my two line elements, so I'm gonna. I gotta kill the program. I bet you it's a problem with my two line elements. So that one didn't work. <laughs> um, there's probably a formatting problem with the two line element. So here in NASA Bear, it's probably. Let me see here. It might just be
Oh, I think that's what it is. It's missing a kind of a name here. I forget what the naming is here. There's a second name like this. This ID is also this. This ID is also this. So let me uh, let me just change it to nine eight eight eight. And I think it has to be the same number of characters. One, two, three, four, five. By the letter. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, A. So let's just let's see if that fixed it. Let's see if the the same kind of numbers are here. I wonder if it matters. We'll see. I'll save it. So sometimes this is this, some of the stuff you have to struggle through just to get it to work. So I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to open SAP PC32 again. Ah, I fixed it. Look at that. That's the uh, position of XW3 from Alan's latest email. And it looks like it's going to come by around the next orbit and be pretty much overhead. But when I click on B, letter B for my XW3, it doesn't give me frequencies. So that's the next thing we're going to fix. And to fix that, you go in to the question mark, auxiliary files, and the Doppler SQF. Now, there's a lot of confusion when it comes to Doppler SQF. I realize that. And, um, but basically it tells you what to do for hints. Look at the end of this file. And at the end of this file, it explains how to add and name and frequencies and all that kind of jazz as to, as to what you're going to need. So let's just do, I like to do it as a comparison. I like to say, okay, uh, let's pull up the information here for from the user manual. It's got a telemetry beacon on 435.575. So we're gonna make our first entry just based on that. Let's see here. Let's see here for XW2. Here's the downlink and the uplink. And we're just gonna we're just gonna copy that. I'm gonna copy that. I'm going to go to the bottom so it makes it easy for myself to. I'm going to put in 435.575. With nothing in the other column, it's not needed. It's the CW beacon. And I'm going to go save. And I'm going to close out of that. Oh, I got to do one more thing. XW3. We want the name to be the same. So XW3, I'm going to save it and close out of that. And since I've made a change, now I need to close and restart SAP PC32. So now when I click on B, I'm given the option here. Well, not the option, but it, it shows my default entry for the, for the satellite, for the frequency, is to have a downlink. That is now Doppler corrected uh, for that CW beacon. So let's let's go through the paces now to make an entry for the transponder. So I'm going to copy and paste. I'm going to make a new line. Call this one transponder, and this is going to be the downlink and the uplink frequencies. So let's let's go here. The downlink four thirty five one eighty four thirty five one eighty, and the uplink. 145, 870. So here, 
one four five eight seven zero. I'm going to save that. So we don't need this anymore. Got that saved. And remember, the first entry is usually what comes up. So I'm going to copy, actually, I'm going to cut that. I'm going to paste it above. So I want it, that to come up first. But another thing we have to think about is it's a transponder. So we want to set our, our downlink as an upper sideband. And our downlink, or our, our downlink is an upper sideband, and our uplink is in lower sideband. And it's a normal, it's not a reversing or inverted. Wait, or is it? <laughs> Let's check. I'm going to save. I'll bring this up. And it's, it's inverted here. The spectrum is inverted, so it's a reverse. So we want to make sure that this is not normal, that it is reverse. It doesn't matter on the uh, CW beacon. It does matter here for the transponder so that the two bands track each other correctly. So we save that, close out of it, and here we're gonna close and restart SAT PC32. And now when I click on B, I have not only the downlink, but also have the uplink. So that's it. That's uh, basically what you do to dig up the information from a, a, a release news. You know, news of two line elements and the, the frequencies were previously published. And so you can use that to manually enter what you're looking for into SAP PC32. Um, Another good idea might be to uh, copy out the two line elements. Like if, if this is not updated or there's a new one released and it's not into NASA bear or something like that, you can just paste your entry for XW3 into the, the bottom of the file and uh, just paste it into the latest download if you're trying to update the caps for other satellites. So I hope that helped. Have a great day, N3 CRT signing off. Give it to me again. This is Kilo Radio 1 Sugar Tango. We fucked up the Norway 21 over. Fox Norway 21. You got it. QFL. This is Whiskey 3 Fox Golf Papa. Fox Mike 1 8. QFL. Roger. W3FGT. Fox Mike 1 8. Thank you and uh, have a good night. Okay, Dippy. Thank you very much for the contact. 73. Roger. 73. This is Kilo Radio 1 Sugar Tango. We fucked Norway 21. 73. 73.